what are the humanistic gains that we can retain and sustain after a crisis? So there is a lot of learning going on at the moment. Um, and obviously the crisis perhaps is going on longer than we were hoping. Um, but what are the key humanistic learning points that we can take that can inform our practice and research later on as well? So we um, decided to um, come into dialogue with three different organizations in three different sectors. So we wanted to see how um, leaders in organizations were approaching a crisis. And so we wanted to offer a snapshot um, and reflections on initial leadership uh, responses to COVID-19 outbreak. Although the organizations we approached for this are very, very different in their types of leadership and their hierarchical structures, ranging from very hierarchical through to very networked um, uh, operations. Um, during the first, uh, the early stages of, of the pandemic, it became clear to all those leaders that um, in those circumstances, um, it would need to be um, leadership getting things done would need to be addressed through delegation of authority and a more shared sense of leadership. Our leaders that we spoke to did use the term humanistic management and we tried not to use it too much in our, uh, in our uh, conversations with them but there were some very strong and implicit resonances with the ideas of building dignity, um, keep um, maintaining dignity and valuing. And therefore there was a common view amongst our participants that the focusing on values and people had created a, a, a sense of pride and order and purpose in the crisis that we had. This need for building trust uh, also meant you know, rethinking leadership styles. So, you know, things that are not particularly useful necessarily in terms of, um, you know, leading others like presentism or, uh, or very rigid mechanisms of control and monitoring. These had to be uh, put aside. And certainly one of, again, one of the themes that came across was how you do that, which is to create a climate and a culture as much as you can that is really balancing being very decisive and also giving permission. That on the one hand, uh, leaders had to be seen to be on top of things, even if they weren't necessarily feeling particularly on top of things, um, but to give the sense that they had this all under control. At the same time, making it clear that people were working at a distance, they were working at home, they also had to be given uh, the permission to get on with things and just do it in whatever way was was right for them. Uh, the readers, uh, leaders were asking themselves very searching questions about their own practice and uh, about, in fact, were they helping or hindering in their behaviours in responding to the crisis, particularly in the early moments. Um, and uh the opportunity uh that emerged when we invited them to participate in a focus group was actually very welcome because it was an opportunity for uh that group of leaders to take stock and to reflect in in a safe space if you like in a facilitated space